so the last video I did, I shared some of my thoughts on implementing different kinds of training knives into martial arts training. And today I'm going to do a similarly structured video on training firearms and implementing them into martial arts training. So this is very popular in some styles such as Krav Maga, Hapkido, as well as various other defensive tactics and combatives programs. But first let me just say that anybody who implements firearms into their martial arts training should probably have actual training in the understanding and use of a firearm from somebody who is actually certified to teach them. If not, you're pretty much just playing LARP with plastic pistols. That's my opinion at least. So the first kind we're going to look at here is this soft rubber pistol. This is just a generic pistol design. Once again, it's very it's soft rubber. The, uh, you're not going to get cut on the front sight post. And I've removed the trigger guard so that people's fingers can't get hyperextended or broken under resistance activities where you're actually uh, sparring or grappling in, under any resistance. So you can find training pistols like this at a lot of martial arts wholesalers online nowadays for very affordable prices. The next thing you may want to consider is something that actually shoots a projectile. This adds a element of urgency and realism to a lot of training drills. However, you really can't use these for full resistance disarming techniques because of the chance of injury. Now, of course, you can get a very generic airsoft pistol like this at almost any sporting goods store. Now, rubber band guns uh, are something that I, I actually scoffed at or laughed at the first time I thought of people actually training with these in uh, close quarter martial arts scenarios until I realized that training with airsoft guns or simunitions in close quarter scenarios gets real old real quick when you're that close to somebody. The next step up from that would be your more personalized replicas. These would be your detailed replicas that are an exact replica of something you might actually carry on your person. Something like this, for example. This is uh, modeled after a uh, Glock 19, and it fits perfectly in a Glock 19 holster. Two of the good companies for these kind of replicas are Asp Red Guns and Rings Blue Guns. These green ones here are a little cheaper but they're also very detailed. These are also made by Cold Steel. This is a uh, Beretta 92 and a uh, LCR. So these kind of training aids can be really great for practicing the draw stroke, for retention drills, for personnel search, and even for disarming scenarios. So the last category I'm going to talk about here is the long guns. And this is really not something the average person is likely to encounter in day-to-day -day life. This is much more something for uh, military or law enforcement personnel or higher level Krav Maga or combatives or defensive tactics instructors. And just like the other uh, blue guns and red guns, these are great replicas of actual firearms. The uh, AK right here is made by Rings Blue Guns, and the uh, M4 AR platform is made by Asp Red Guns. It has a nice collapsible stock. You can put a sling on it. These are great for different kinds of uh, weapon disarming and weapon retention scenarios in close quarters. So that's just my two thoughts on some of the different kinds of training firearms that you could utilize to implement into uh, self-defense, defensive tactics, martial arts programs. Don't forget to like and subscribe.